If any of you have seen my previous mukbangs over the last week or two, uh, it's gone off on, on a bit of a tangent. I've been doing um, sandwiches and crisps, you know, things that you can buy in the UK. Hello and welcome everybody, a spur of the moment mukbang. Another pizza. Um, what we've got here is a revolving table and a 16 inch pizza. Look at the state of that. It smells great by the way. I can smell the cheese coming off it. I don't know what else is on it. It's a special pizza anyway. But as you can see it's fantastic. Check it out. Mmm, I'm getting more. Mmm, wow. Mmm, <laughs> that is so nice. Test it out. Oh, mmm. It's very cheesy. and actually perfectly cooked as well it was just being taken out of the oven as I arrived in the shop and it tastes so good it's unreal I'm so glad that I showed pizza tonight Now, if any of you have seen my previous mukbangs over the last week or two, uh, it's gone off on, on a bit of a tangent. I've been doing um, sandwiches and crisps, you know, things that you can buy in the UK that you may not be able to buy elsewhere. I do have some other things planned for another mukbang but if you've any ideas of what I could do or suggestions then please let me know in the comments but tonight is another of our banging pizzas Now this one tastes great. There's different people that cook these pizzas, although it's from the same shop. You know, it's um, food does change depending on who's cooking it. Now this one is top notch. It's, you know, I can't, I can't pick a fault so far. I can see red peppers on it. <clears throat> no, it's that good that I thought it was red peppers and it's actually pepperoni. <laughs> what more can I say? Hmm. <laughs> Okay, it doesn't look like there's any peppers on this at all. The red pepper that I thought was, is actually chicken tikka meat. Mm. And we've got sausage meat as well. That's um basic basic coloured circles mm. 
This is nice pizza. I don't see any sweet corn. No, I do like sweet corn on the pizza. I also like pineapple and peppers. Red, green, yellow, orange. But there's no peppers on this pizza. It's a very meaty but lightly meated pizza. I think another good thing to put on pizzas is herbs as well. I think you put oregano or oregano, as you may say in the States. Um, I'm not sure about mint. Or any of the other herbs. But definitely oregano. Um, that goes very well with tomato, which is on pizzas. What else we got? Mm. If, if anybody would like to suggest some herbs or things or condiments even that go on pizzas that are unusual post in the comments and I might try them at some point but as far as pizzas go this one's pretty good Now it's a 16 inch pizza. I ordered this pizza uh, for collection. So they made it and then I travelled to the shop and collected it and paid for it when I was there. And I was contemplating ordering some other things as well. But a 16 inch pizza is pretty big. probably enough without chips or size or anything and it's extremely tasty it's fantastic look at the bottom of it it's done in a proper pizza oven You can't get any better than that. You know you've got these um, Domino's, Pizza Hut. Um, is it Papa John's? Or, um, I don't know, um, mention in the comments if you know any other pizza chains. Uh, possibly I could try them in the future. I know I'm yet to see, um, to try Pizza Hut um, and Domino's. I haven't done either of those as a mukbang. I have actually tried them before. And I thought they were nice, but these chip shop pizzas are brilliant.
a little bit burnt around the outside but it's not offensive you know if you don't want to eat the burnt bit you don't have to but you can if you want I wouldn't have thought it would taste too bad just a little bit of darkness on the edge but the cheesiness of this one tonight is quite kind of um, spectacular it's really nice I don't know what they've done whether the, you know when you're in the catering industry you get different products coming all the time you'll order one thing and then maybe you'll get you'll order the thing that you've ordered before and then something else might come in and this something else might be actually better than what you've been using before this cheese tastes really good it's very um, strong although not overpowering I'm guessing that it might be a mix of um, mozzarella and cheddar when you cook mozzarella it doesn't go brown as quickly as cheddar does now if it was pizza with just cheddar on it the pizza would go very dark brown quickly now when it's got the mozzarella on or on it mozzarella on on it mozzarella on it it stays white for longer and it actually looks more appealing unless you like the dark color of the cheddar browning I still can't get over these red bits. They look like pepper, don't they? You never think that was chicken tikka. Okay, so it looks like we're about half the way through the pizza. I'm already feeling a little bit full, but I will go on. It's so tasty. Okay, so now I'm starting to discover some other pieces that are in the pizza. And that is a bit of ham. It seems like the ham has been um, almost julienne, if anyone knows what that term is in French culinary terminology. It's a finely cut ham. These are like little cylinders. So we have ham, we have some um, some sausage meat, 
obviously the chicken tikka that I've been showing you which looks like pepper I can't see anything else at the moment oh yes I can pepperoni now it's just a little bit of it there mmm There's a bit. So, mm. That's quite nice too. There's actually no vegetables on this pizza as far as I'm aware. No. Maybe it's easier for them to make a pizza with just meat on it. I imagine that the meat and the vegetables will cook at different times. Now how they make these pizzas I presume is that they just get the pizza base, they spread the pizza sauce on it, they put the toppings on and then they put it in the oven. But the toppings that you put on could be raw or they could be cooked. Now, the meat topping on the pizza would more than likely be cooked, but the vegetables may not be. I'm not. I'm not sure on that. Certain ones you probably could put on raw but other ones will be put and cooked now pineapple is a fruit now if you were to put that on a pizza you'd probably put it on raw now sweet corn if you were to put that on a pizza it would probably be cooked if you were to put mushrooms on a pizza it would probably be raw mushrooms not cooked I don't know why. If anyone knows in the comments, please tell me whether you put on a pizza raw mushrooms or cooked mushrooms. I don't know. What else goes on a pizza? Um, peppers. Now you could probably put raw peppers on a pizza. Tomatoes. Again, probably raw. Mm. I can't think of anything else that go on a pizza. Raw, vegetables wise. But tonight's pizza, I must say, is brilliant. Thumbs up to the person that made this. I do know who made it. Unfortunately, you won't <laughs> because you didn't see who I collected it from. But, mm, well done.
I'm actually starting to taste a bit of tomato now, which is unusual for the pictures that I've had from here before. But I'm wondering if it's because there is no other vegetables on it that it's tasting like tomato. I can't actually see any tomato in the um, in it at all. It just looks like meat and cheese. I don't know whether you can see that. It looks red, yeah, but the tikka meat's red. So is the pepperoni. But I don't see a tomato sauce spread on the bottom. I don't know, maybe one day I can watch them make these. Please don't ask in the comments why my table is revolving. It's not a proper table. <laughs> it's, it's a tabletop on a table. Not move. <clears throat> okay, so we've got Three pieces of pizza left out of the 16 inch pizza. That's quite good going. I know in my earlier days I would have smashed that straight away. I'm actually struggling a little bit now. I could probably eat the rest. We'll see. But this pizza is so nice, it's unreal. I'm starting to taste sausage now. It's like, um, I wouldn't say a roller coaster, but a plethora, a plethora of tastes. Cheese is very nice. And look at that as well. The fillings are actually right to the edges of it. I don't know if you can see that. Right to the edge. Now when people are making pizzas in a rush, that's one thing that doesn't happen. I know this because I make pizzas myself. Now what you do is you get the pizza base whether it be frozen, defrosted, rolled, or just come in as a pizza base. And you get some tomato, uh, pizza base dressing, pizza base sauce, and you spread that onto the pizza. Now that's that is quite time consuming to get the sauce right to the edge of the pizza. Now if you're in a rush, you won't do that. You'll just spread it on and you'll put the fillings on and then you'll get it in the oven. Now this shows that this has been done with time and care mm. what a brilliant pizza they are quite expensive though this 16 inch pizza was 12 British pounds now you can probably just about get two meals for that in the UK if you went to somewhere like um, a chip shop or McDonald's KFC and, and you had small meals not large meals <clears throat> because the larger meals do cost about 10 pounds now but you can get a smaller meal from any of these fast food chains for about five, six pounds. 
but to a big person it's just like a snack really it's not a proper meal Nice bit of pepperoni on there. Mm. Okay, we're nearly getting to the end of it now. Just a bow tie of pizza left. What's in my hand? Okay, I'm not going to fall to these pieces of pizza down now. That's enough for tonight. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye.